we will be reviewing Batman 3 Jokers, and this is a real treat for me. Okay, so uh, when we pick up, we see Joker having his, uh, his, a fantasy of him having dinner with a family that's pretty scared of him. As we flash back, this is the comedian Joker, the one known for uh, from the killing joke. And the original Joker, a uh, criminal, is confronting him. They are having a minor disagreement of because uh, in the last issue, Clown, the prankster Joker, was killed by Red Hood. And we see some pretty graphic, I don't know, it's not too graphic, but in my opinion, it's pretty graphic of that uh, Joker that Jason killed, Jason Todd in the last issue killed, being um, he is sitting in a pool of his blood and flies started coming to him, starting the initial stages of eating him. When we flash, we see another gruesome panel of dogs getting Jokerized. Apparently they killed their owner. They mauled the owner of the, these dogs, a dirty judge. Oh man, I don't know what it is with Joker gassing um, animals. They look scary. This book, Jason Fabuk, as well as the um, the uh, colors by Brad Anderson, they do a really great job of send it, setting the mood. It reminds me of the art done in the Killing Joke. Who did that art? I'm gonna have to look that up. Uh, but it's this is this is like the best art in a Batman book I have read in a long time and that's saying something because Jorge Jimenez he's doing really great as well as Craig Capullo and um, and all of those artists that I just reviewed in Joker War anyway we uh, see Batgirl confronting Joker about or confronting Batman about what to do with Red Hood after he killed the Joker Batman kind of shrugs it off it's kind of uh, weird we see you know, we see Joker or Red Hood Beating up Joker goons, doing what he does best. It's hard to feel. It's it's easy to feel sorry for Jason, but now and again, I don't know why Batman keeps him around because he is harming, doing really bad damage to just average criminals. And um, we actually get to see Batman go to Blackgate Penitentiary, kind of where we get to see Rupert Thorne. Been a while since we heard from Rupert Thorne. He uh, in the comics, he was like. A corrupt politician who was a thorn in Batman's side. We also get to see Dr. Phosphorus in just a regular prison, even though he still has his radio radioactive skin. And we see them both back off of uh, Batman. And Batman goes to confront Joe Chill. He has a flashback before confronting. They find out that Joe Chill has stage 4 cancer and a few weeks to live. But... They're there to confront him because his fingerprints were on the murder weapon that bludgeoned the judge before he was mauled by the dogs. And um, we see Jason going to the athlete, uh, swimming pool in Gotham, seeing a bunch of people in a pool of the acid that made the Joker, and thinking this is where those three Jokers came from. The original one was the criminal, and he made two more. That's just, I just gotta say, that is just uh, a prediction for me. But they're apparently trying to make three uh, more Jokers, and or more Jokers in that pool, and Red Hood gets captured by uh, the original Joker, the criminal Joker. And criminal Joker looks amazing. I think they did a really good job with him. He looks older. He's more distinct than... Um, the other two Jokers. He has, he looks older, and he looks specifically designed more, he's specifically designed to look more like the original Joker that appeared in Batman number one. And to me, that is amazing. And we finally get to, in the past, we see him, he's the, he's the Joker that doesn't smile that much, but we, we see him as the person who plots, who schemes, while the other two Jokers do a lot of that work. Uh, also, we see some... Uh, uh, the panels here are pretty scary, but they're really well done. Um, we see him 
they intend to try to make a Joker out of the Red Hood to replace the Joker he killed. And another uneasy panel is, um, I don't know, uh, jo uh, that comedian Joker mentions that he was the one who bludgeoned Jason, even though Criminal said he bludgeoned Jason. Maybe um, they both bludgeoned Jason, or they're just sharing stories, I don't know. What? Oh. After he gets bludgeoned, Batman and Batgirl show up, and they rescue Jason. Even though they deal with a large amount of evil, not evil jokers, but those jokers in that pool that were seemingly alive. And um, then we see a panel of them rescuing Jason. Jason is very mad at Bruce, which understandably, Bruce took him in as the second Robin and he died. And he kind of just shrugged it. Like, I know he he kind of beats up Joker every t extra hard. extra. He puts a little extra oomph in Joker's beatings ever since he killed Jason. But other than that, he kind of just shrugs it off. And um, Batman goes back out. Barbara and Jason have a moment of shared trauma. And, um, you know, I, they kiss on a panel. And, you know, I think a lot of people were mad at that because... They think Barbara and Dick are endgame. It's kind of weird, because in the Arkham Knight video game, she was dating Tim, Tim Drake. Um, but, I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't really care about this. Uh, it doesn't bother me that much. You know, anyway, moving along, we see that... Back, uh, we see a good shot of display of the classic Robin and Batgirl outfit. Where and Batman going over missing case files and the real zinger at the end. Hmm. Oh, yeah. The real zinger at the end was when the Jokers, the two Jokers, abduct Joe Chill and they get him on camera and they ask him, Why did he really kill Thomas and Martha Wayne? And that is where we leave off. And we. Uh, with this, with the purchase of this, we got this awesome card with just uh, with Batgirl and uh, Joker, the criminal Joker. The last one I think was Comedian Joker and Batman, and I think the final book will be Red Hood and uh, uh, Criminus. I don't know. I feel actually I feel like Batgirl should have been with the comedian, with the comedian Joker, and Batman should have been paired with Criminal Joker since. That's what they're aiming at. Criminal is the criminal. Bat, the criminal Joker is kind of the anti-Batman. Comedian is the anti-Batgirl, and uh, the clown is the anti-Jason. And all in all, this is a really good book. Really good book. I know uh, a lot of people were giving them a hard time uh, on um, on social media, but this is. Amazing. Jeff Johns is going through his own issues, which I I believe I'm not gonna get into that in this video, but I believe Ray Fisher. I believe I believe what Jeff Johns did to him was really bad. But the he, Jeff Johns is a great writer, so I still purchased three jokers. I still mess with some of Jeff Johns' work on Justice League, Green Lantern, and uh, Flash, Aquaman, he's he's a really great writer. Even if he, even if I, even if he's kind of a bat, uh, under scrutiny right now. And to be honest, I believe Ray Fisher uh, when he says that Jeff Johns is kind of an enabled abusive behavior on the set of Justice League. I'm getting way off topic. Anyway, J Jason Fabok and Brad Anderson also do a great job. And if Anybody, if people don't like the story, if, they don't, if they're having a tough time with the story, which I think is great, then the art is amazing, and it more than makes up for whatever issues they have for the story, in my opinion. Um, and, I, and I think the story is amazing. So I am going to give this a 10 out of 10. I can't wait for the final issue, and I am so hyped. Thank you for watching this review, and see you next time.